So, that said, Senior X30 final on our screen, but that's race 31 and we just had race 29, but we'll go with it anyway. <laughs> Lucas Ellingham will start on pole position with Sam Shaw alongside Sam Heading and Zane Maloney on row number two. Louis Johnson Cool and Alex Moody will be starting on row number three. Row four, Ellis Boucher, uh, Brandon Matchell with Harry Torpy and Finley Harrison on row number five, Jude Ferenho and Christian Brooks on row 12, oh, on row six, sorry, in the 12th place spot. I can confirm it is the Senior X30 final is next on our screen, so a uh, bit of confusion there. Uh, seventh race, Thomas Fleming on the seventh row with uh, Tyler Reed alongside, Vishal Patel and Miles Nathaniel James alongside on row eight, Jake Yanagasawa on row nine with Alex, Alex Johnson, Jordan Brown and Drake Jansen on row 10, rounding out the top 20, Jensen Buckingham and Benjamin Southgate on row 11, Harvey Ryby and Daniel Hackett on row 12, Hugo Gilbert and Oliver Henwood on row 13 with Jamie Rogers and Thomas Reddy. On row 14, Kean Gohill and Ben McDowell. On row 15 with Remy Gilbert and Harrison Pugh rounding out row 16. At the back of the grid, Mackenzie Stevens and Stefan Botsenjeev on row 17, 33rd and 34th in total. You can see them there all lined up ready to go. The grandstand, or the grandstand, the cafe balcony is full. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not been to the cafe in the clubhouse at Milton Milkart Club, I have to say you are missing out on some fantastic food. I had the special, yes, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Uh, beef and ale, um, vegetable stew. It was lovely, with mashed potato as well. Great, I'm glad you enjoyed my. I have to got to say, it is proper nice. One of, if not the best, bar and grill at uh, at car tracks around the UK. Yeah, it's lovely, lovely and new. Although I'm quite new to uh, this proper karting lot, and I didn't experience Wilton Mill before mm. this brand new building, so I don't know any any different. Well, the clubhouse before then. Uh, was a well the timing so the timing you can just see there yes uh, right there the timing tower before that lovely building attached to the clubhouse used to be a shed on top of a container nice uh, and this is the original clubhouse uh, just here gotcha. so they've, uh, they've upgraded nice upgrade that they've had just to the left of this shot as well you will see the the, the smoky oh, barbecue yeah, yeah something like that something I can't remember like the exact name can't remember the name yeah. but again the 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 lovely staff in there have been working fantastic to make sure everyone at the circuit today is fed and watered and make sure as well. And, uh, and, of course, all the staff as well, all the marshals that we see out there. And, of course, we can't go racing without the marshals. So yes. every driver there and spectator and, of course, the commentators and I'm sure the viewers at home as well all appreciate the fact that the marshals are out there doing an absolutely fantastic job. And as well to all the volunteer Motorsport UK staff as well uh, out there as well to uh, help steward and um, uh, clerk the uh, course but uh, just generally making sure that everything runs smoothly yes exactly. and that we get our grids in the comments box as well very exactly useful that. But, but, uh, yeah yeah Worth waiting for these guys to go out now curious to know where mr. Dan Ashton is with his bright shoes we've not seen them again <laughs> we haven't since, we saw him at the start didn't we and we haven't seen him since there he is he's right there just to the right of your shot he's the <laughs> orange high vis is walking onto the circuit now but we can't, can't see his pick feet out the shoes no, we can't pick out his feet He's just come onto the circuit now. Uh, there we go. So, uh, yeah, it's a very bright, uh, very bright shoes he's got on there. He's probably quite as fast as the next 30 with those shoes on. Oh, yeah. Um, most, easily. Most definitely. <laughs> so, uh, in there they are. There they are. There they are, the Roof striking under. shoes. And you can just see there. Uh, you can see Ryan Manchester uh, alongside them saying, yeah, they're, they're talking about your shoes, mate. They talk about your shoes. Uh, <laughs> There He's going to hate you so much. Oh, he is, but never mind. <laughs> so, of course, uh, with this race, <laughs> he's shaking his head there. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, Luke and Sellingham, like we say, starting on pole position. The number 99, 93 points he's accumulated out of the three heats that he's had today. Sam Shaw, as well, alongside 89 points. has been so close between these top few drivers uh, out there. And we we'll yet to see what they can do out uh, of there. Um, Colin Whitaker joins us on the stream. So, the way home, Lucas. So, uh, Luke Sallingham with some support out there. I'm sure Terry Ellingham will be joining us as well in the chat. 
Uh, hopefully still watching along from the United States of America. Not sure where in the States he's watching from again. Uh, say, it, 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 it could be 2 o'clock in the morning where he is right now. But uh, I remember when we started the stream, the person who said they were in Tennessee said it was 5 a.m. Well, if Early Michael Burke morning. is still joining us, it was 10 o'clock at night at the beginning of the day. Yes. That was some many hours ago. <laughs> so he's a late one. He's, uh, he's uh, hopefully probably around 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. 2 o'clock in the morning there now. What's better than some late night karting? Right. Exactly. Exactly. There we go. So, but yeah, I think Lucas Elling on the one to watch out for mainly in this one. Obviously, as I said earlier, the only person from last year that won the championship that's still racing today. Well. And he, was, he had a pretty commanding win of the championship last year. He had Last year he had three final wins and three final P2s. He's starting P1 in this one. So can he make it one from one in 2022? We will have to wait and see. That will work better when it's the second round and see if we can make it 2-2 two 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 two. in 2022. <laughs> there we go, that's how it works. But there we go. Keep an eye on that front row. Ellingham on the left, Shaw on the right, into the tram lines. Green flags out, we're off and racing. Senior X30 final underway, good start from Ellingham. Shaw holds on to second place as they dive through. It looked like they're the heading. Lost a position there to Zane Maloney, who comes through into P3. Maloney goes defensive into the braking zone as everyone dives down the inside and another car diving to the inside there. It looked like the 93 or the 53 of Jude Ferenho, who dived down the inside there at, Hairpin, uh, the, uh, at the Christmas corner. Uh, but they all get it done. Eight and a half minutes to go. And everyone is through the first few corners. Cleanly as another lunge down the inside there from a million miles away. It was the 53 there of Jude Ferenho. Gets it done. Uh, and moves up another position. So they're chopping and changing. And we'll let you know who, where, what the order is as they cross the line. Because, of course, we all get lost and mismatched. And it all gets muddled on that first corner. Because everyone chops and changes. Ellingham leads from Shaw. Heading. Johnson Cool. Boucher. Maloney, then it's uh, Fleming, Moody, Ferenho, Torpy. That's the top ten at the moment. Eight minutes to go then at the end of lap number one. We're on lap two, and look at that. Ellingham has left the field. He's left the field behind. Clear by, what, well, just about a second now. Ah, Tennessee. It's, uh, well, it's nine o'clock in the morning, apparently, in Tennessee. There so he was up very early then watching. He was. There you go. So, uh, Good stuff. And like morning karting. That's what we need. Exactly. Exactly. A cup of coffee and some karting. Don't get much better than that. Can't go wrong. Exactly. But yeah, Lucas Elling, I think, continuing to extend his lead as he does now up to about 1.3 seconds in the lead. So luckily, not commentators cursed him just yet. Doing very well out front. Yeah, touch wood, as we definitely need to. Here's the battle for second, though. This is the 18 of Sam Shaw leading these three carts. Obviously, this is not a B final. We don't need to worry about any bubbles. This is just sending it full the way through for nine minutes. Winner takes all. And look at that. Battles going on up and down the field. We saw a couple of large... It's a bit more now on, on, uh, on lap two going on to lap three. Yes. Yes, I... Three I, comes after two. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> As you can tell, I didn't do great at maths GCSE. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, I was much more into words than numbers. That's why I now shout over karting. It's uh, great. Well, there you go. But there's, yeah, a, there's a move. There we go. Heading down the inside of Shaw, moves up into P2. And now the two premium karting drivers and Linus Stern, Jonathan Cool and Shaw. Can they work together to... Uh, Take uh, back that second place. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, can they? I'm sure they will as they go through. And uh, they'll try and gain those places back. They'll work together to try and close up that gap to Lucas Ellingham because that gap's opening up. It's creeping open. 1.4 seconds is the gap now. So uh, keep a close eye on that one. Six minutes to go as we end lap three. Or we end lap four, sorry. We're on to lap five. Yeah, there you go. Come on, uh, numbers, mate. <laughs> Put <Pumped> down over there. <laughs> uh, there we go. As they go through. Up into Christmas corner again. Sideways under braking there from heading. Really on the edge of, uh, of what the car can do there, but holding it perfectly. Only the top three. Oh, no, actually, no, sorry. It is almost the top six now that are down into the 44s. And uh, Tyler Reed, who's near the back, actually setting the fastest lap for 45.59. Sorry, 44.59. Yeah, indeed. So Fleming out there, the number three. See the driver struggling. Uh, this weekend on pace, he's uh, he's in sixth place at the moment. He's uh, trying to close up. He's just was past the shot now. 
Keep close eye on him, though, because he is a very quick driver, is uh, Mr. Fleming. But, uh, at the moment, something not going his way this weekend. He's uh, currently there in sixth place. Uh, keep a close eye on him, though, as he goes through. Less than five minutes to go, then, in this uh, final for Senior X30. The driver's keeping it relatively chill. It's, it's so pretty far. chill so far, yeah. isn't it, between these drivers? Yeah, they're, they're, they're being well-behaved, aren't they? Um, Something like them. Yes. <laughs> Mature, like they're senior <laughs> what? drivers. What's going on? Oh, as we continue to follow them. So, uh, there we go. Four minutes thirty to go. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying the stream out there, please do uh, either comment in, let us know what you're thinking, let us know who you're supporting, give the stream a like, give the stream a f uh, uh, or subscribe to the Alpha Live YouTube channel if you want to make sure you keep up to date with all the comings and goings of when we go live. Which is, uh, uh, soon, it'll be most weekends. Yes. Oh dear, there's the 55 of Ben McDowell, and that car is in the pits. I seem to remember him retiring over. to the pits in a heat earlier as well. So not having uh, the greatest of days is Ben. Mm. Mm. But as we continue this one, yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in and, and uh, viewing today's stream. Our first Wilton Mill Kart Club round of 2022, but the first of many. So as, uh, as DJ says, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those future rounds and you can continue supporting your mates. Or if you don't know anyone on the grid, just watching and enjoying the racing. Exactly that. Most what Magpie comes in. Who's more mature, Senior X30 or the commentators? <laughs> um, <laughs> We're not answering that question. <laughs> Senior X30 drivers. <laughs> There we go. That, that, that settles that one, doesn't it? Three and a half Ooh. minutes to go then. Saw a move going there down, in, down into Ashby. I think that was for, for sort of fifth or sixth position. See if they uh, made that one stick. As we've said, all the drivers just kind of having a decent enough gap where no one's really able to go for it. There's the 44 now in the pitch. That's Daniel Hackett having a chat with, uh, I believe that's his mechanic. Ask him what went wrong, mate. Uh, we uh, spoke to him on the Paddock show earlier on, if you ca caught that during the lunch break. He um, said he didn't have a good first day. He uh, said he was hoping for a better day, but in the final now and something not going his way. And uh, that's a big shame for Daniel Hackett uh, at the moment uh, there, which is a, a big, big shame. So, Matthew Hyde Racing coming. Go Team Premium Karting. They're doing well out there. They are uh, third and fourth place at the moment. Uh, Sam Shaw and Louis Johnson Cool at the moment, uh, but Johnson Cool under pressure. And as we closing in, as well as Thomas Fleming, also closing in. And apparently, uh, the Honda Cadets are uh, more mature than all of us, which is, is probably true, to be fair. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Harsh but true, as Motorsport Malfoy says in the chat. We agree. We agree. There's been quite a bit of uh, support for, for premium karting, to be fair, in the chat. So, there we go then. One hour. Oh, one hour? One hour, Jesus. So, uh, suddenly <laughs> thinking, this, we're in an endurance race. <laughs> one minute and 50 seconds to go. And uh, Lucas Ellingham, his gap is still extending by quite a way. 1.3 seconds now is that advantage. So they have closed it in a little bit, has Sam Heading and Sam Shaw. Um, but whether or not they're going to close it up enough to try and make... Uh, any positions here uh, we'll have to see about that a bit later on but there is Lucas Ellingham just in shot it really looks like they've closed up now they took another two tenths out of a second out of him this the gap's just over a second now it's it is slowly dropping but it is quite slowly as Finley Harrison gets a warning there uh, yeah but with, a, that was for, with but a minute to go there's still a good yeah there's three three laps to go on this chance. one and you know, if they're gaining two tenths a, a, a lap, they'll be they'll be within lunge distance in uh, in no time at all. So look, look how close the best lap times are as well. Everyone in the high 44s from first down to what's that 14th? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I think the tyres are starting to light up for Sam Heading because he is Another. putting in faster time, fastest time after fastest time. Sam Shaw also going faster than Sam Heading that time around. So. Uh, they are really starting to close in, and oh, black flag out for Finley Harrison. Uh, that's from ninth place, the 49. I'm not sure what that's for. No, we didn't see any warnings come up before. Actually, yeah, we did. We saw a warning just a minute before, and then got a black flag. So, mm. uh, possibly a repeat offence there. 
Ah, that is a shame. So, out of this final. Only five seconds to go, though. Yeah, that last lap board will be out this time. Uh, or will it? No, it won't, because they crossed the line with oh, one yes, second to right. go. So there's another two laps in this. This one that they're starting right now, and the final lap. And that gap is less than a second now. Sam Heading has seriously closed in on Lucas Ellingham, and that battle for the race lead is far from over as we look a little further back in the field. The 84 just coming through shot. That's Jake Yanagasawa uh, having a good little scrap there with Jensen Buckingham and Oliver Henwood. But our race leaders are starting to close in. They're going to be line astern any moment now because another two tenths of a second was taken out of that race lead by Sam Heading. There is your race leader, the 99, Lucas Ellingham. Where on that shot is Sam Heading? Where's the seven? There he is, right behind. It looks close, but is it close enough as they start the final lap, tucking in as much as possible as Ellingham? Is he going to set the fastest up? He took another two tenths out of him that time, did Sam Heading. Heading as they go up the hill now. He doesn't look close enough this time around, but if he's only a couple of tenths away, he could do it this time around. Is Ellingham sporting an issue in the final parts of this race, or has Sam Heading's tyres just come into light as the 88 Alex Moody is off the track, and it looks like Finley Harrison uh, is also coming to the pit lane after his black flag. A few more corners to go then. Ellingham under pressure, but not under a total amount of pressure because Heading is closing, but not closing in fast enough as they come into the boot for the final time. Not many more opportunities to get the move done. And it looks like Ellingham has just got enough pace, enough waft to get that cart to the end and takes a final win in Senior X30 for the first round in 2022 for the Fast R Wilton Mill Cart Club Championship. And as he goes through... Ellingham takes it from Heading and Sam Shaw. One, two, three on your screens there, side by side, all congratulating each other. Good shot there and a good sight to see the sportsmanship. Louis Johnson Cool crosses in fourth place from Thomas Fleming, Ellis Boucher, Christian Brooks, Harry Torpey, Harvey Ryby, and Jude Ferenho, the top ten out on circuit. Alex Johnson, Vishal Patel, uh, Miles Nathaniel James, Jamie Rogers, Jordan Brown, Keen Gohill, Jake Yanagasawa, Hugo Gilbert, Jensen Buckingham. Remy Gilbert, Benjamin Southgate, Harrison Pugh, Mackenzie Stevens, Stefan uh, Botson Jeeves. Botson Jeeves. I'll get that right at some point. Apologies if I'm getting that completely wrong. Stefan, do come and see me after the race and tell me if I'm getting your name wrong. Um, in 24th place, Oliver Henwood uh, in 25th place. Finley Harrison did get the black flag, uh, but came in on the last lap, so I don't think a couple of cars went past. <laughs>